Leave It to Smith, by P. G. Wodehouse is a quintessential example of the author's comedic prowess, blending a complex narrative with an array of eccentric characters and a keen sense of timing. The novel is the fourth in the Smith series and features a unique blend of humor, romance, and a light-hearted critique of the British upper class. At the heart of the story is Rupert Smith, a charming and resourceful young man who adopts the pseudonym Smith and offers his services to solve any problem, no matter how trivial or grandiose. Smith's character is a study in Wodehouse's talent for creating whimsical yet endearing protagonists. His wit, self-confidence, and relentless optimism are central to the novel's appeal, making him an unforgettable character in Wodehouse's literary pantheon. The plot revolves around Smith's decision to assist Eve Halliday, a young woman working at Blanding's castle, who is disillusioned with her job and the mundane realities of life. Smith's promise to leave it to him sets off a chain of events that involve mistaken identities, elaborate schemes, and a series of comedic misunderstandings. Wodehouse's narrative technique is particularly effective here, his ability to juggle multiple plot threads while maintaining a cohesive and engaging story is a testament to his craftsmanship. The setting of Blanding's castle itself is more than just a backdrop, it functions as a character in its own right. The castle, with its grandiosity and the peculiarities of its inhabitants, exemplifies the quintessentially British setting that Wodehouse so often employs. The residents of Blanding's castle, including the absent-minded Lord Emsworth and the officious Lady Constance, provide a rich tapestry of characters whose interactions fuel the novel's comedic engine. One of the novel's strengths lies in Wodehouse's masterful use of language. His prose is marked by a unique blend of elegance and absurdity, characterized by clever wordplay and sharp dialogue. Wodehouse's use of irony and satire is gentle yet incisive, offering a humorous critique of the British aristocracy and their idiosyncrasies. The humor in Leave It to Smith is timeless, relying on character-driven comedy and situational irony rather than dated cultural references, which ensures its enduring appeal. The romance between Smith and Eve Halliday is another key element of the novel. It is handled with a light touch, blending seamlessly into the broader comedic narrative. The evolution of their relationship is depicted with subtlety and charm, avoiding the pitfalls of sentimentality. Wodehouse's treatment of romance is characterized by its wit and sophistication, making it a natural extension of the novel's overall tone. Wodehouse also excels in his portrayal of secondary characters, each of whom is meticulously crafted and contributes to the novel's humor and complexity. Characters like the ambitious yet bumbling Freddie Threepwood and the pretentious poet Ralston McTodd add layers of comedic intrigue to the story. These characters, while exaggerated, are grounded in enough reality to be relatable, making their antics all the more amusing. Leave It to Smith is ultimately a celebration of Wodehouse's comedic genius. His ability to create a world that is simultaneously absurd and endearing is unparalleled. The novel structure, with its intricate plotting and well-timed revelations, showcases Wodehouse's narrative control and his understanding of comedic rhythm. Each chapter builds upon the previous one, culminating in a satisfying and humorous resolution that ties together the various plot threads. In conclusion, Leave It to Smith stands as a testament to P. G. Wodehouse's skill as a humorist and storyteller. It captures the essence of his literary style, characterized by its wit, charm, and a keen observation of human nature. Through its memorable characters, intricate plot, and delightful prose, the novel offers a timeless comedic experience that continues to resonate with readers today.